Hey, what's up guys? Yes, Bitcoin is going through some turbulence, but overall we make higher highs and higher lows. In this video, we'll take a look at some bullish on-chain analytics charts, then I'll present my million dollar Bitcoin cash out plan. This video is brought to you by BlockFi. BlockFi offers a cryptocurrency exchange, interest bearing accounts and low interest rate loans worldwide. There is no commission fees, no monthly fees or minimum deposits. With BlockFi interest accounts, you can earn up to 8.25% compounding rate on your cryptocurrency holdings. Now you do not have to sell your crypto and pay high taxes. Borrow money while you hodling is the way to go. You can borrow money against your crypto holdings at rate as low as 4.5% APR. BlockFi uses ACH that allows users to deposit and withdraw funds with no fees. BlockFi is the first company to launch a Bitcoin reward credit card, a Visa credit card that earns 1.5% back in Bitcoin on every single purchase. No annual fees, no foreign transactions. Sign up today and earn up to $250 bonus when you open an account with the link blockfi.com slash aimstone in the description box below. Okay, okay guys, let's start with the crypto market. In general, the entire crypto market cap just reached another all-time high, surpassing $2.6 trillion. Bitcoin's diamond slightly dropped to 46% and Ethereum diamonds increased just about 19%. Yes, we see some minor pullback in Bitcoin price. It's to be expected. Remember, nothing grows non-stop without any fluctuations. Today, BTC is trading slightly above $63,000. An all-time high took place two days ago at $66,000. You can think of this as a small discount where you can still pick up some sets below its recent high value. On the day, BTC is down by 3%, so here you go, 3% discount. But on the week is still up by double digits, it's up by 10%, which is still good. Market cap is at $1.2 trillion. Ethereum recently had a nice run up, currently is trading about $4,100. It was about $4,300 just recently, very close to break new all time high. I guess it will take place in the next rise up which can happen at any moment. On the day, ETH is slightly down similar to Bitcoin, it's down by 2.5% and it's up by 9% of the week. Cardano ADA continues to struggle a bit, it seems like it's stuck in this price of around $2.20. In fact, after it reached new all time high of above 3 bucks back in August, since then it has been on a steady decline. On the day it's down by 3% and in the week it's flat. The worst weekly performing assets, not counting stable coins of course. Solana on the other hand is booming, it just reached new all time high, surpassing 208 bucks. Let's remember that a year ago it was under a dollar, so you could have made 200x if you bought this coin. It also very close to flip Cardano, it just 8 billion dollars behind Cardano's market cap. If that happens, Huskisson would be very sad sad boy. Solana is up by 10% of the day and staggering 40% of the week. That makes Solana the best daily and weekly performing asset by far. Shitcoin Dogecoin is still closing top 10 listing. It probably will wiggle in the top 10 for the next few weeks before it will get flipped by another shitcoin. Here we have some interesting news that took place yesterday. Bitcoin briefly crashed 87% to about $8,000 on Binance US crypto trading platform. What? Is this is for real? The coin had been trading at around $65,000 when Binance US posted a candle that showed the price sank to about $8,000. Cointelegraph first reported, adding that coin's one minute candle floor on other platforms was above $64,000. In an email to Insider, the company said, one of our institutional traders indicated to us that they had a bug in their trading platform which appeared to have caused the sell off. I do not think this is accurate. So they are saying that most of the people on the Binance US were panic selling BTC? What I think happened was, it's an issue in the pricing algorithm only on that platform. Further they said, we are continuing to look into this event, but understand from the trader they have now fixed the bug and the issue appears to have been resolved. Buying Bitcoin for $8,000 right now? That would be a God's gift. Whoever had the chance to do that was very very lucky. Here is an on-chain analytics chart. It represents exchange net position change on all crypto exchanges. This metric indicates the 30 days change of the supply held in all crypto exchanges wallets. 
As we can see from this chart, whenever the net position is in negative, it means Bitcoin is leaving crypto exchanges. When that happens, usually the price goes up. And the opposite is also true. When that position is positive, it means that more and more BTC being deposited into crypto exchanges to sell, which eventually drives the market slightly down. Since November 2020, on average, net position change on crypto exchanges was negative. And consequently to that, Bitcoin price increased from $10,000 all the way till $64,000, which was the previous all-time high. Then, net position change turned into positive, meaning traders were selling BTC and therefore BTC dropped from $64,000 to $30,000. And since then, we saw another accumulation phase. Net position change turned to negative once again. Investors started to withdraw Bitcoin from the crypto exchanges, which took away most of the selling pressure. With Bitcoin's limited supply and high demand, price of course went up once again. And just recently we reached new all-time high of $66,000. Here is the follow-up chart that represents Bitcoin balance on crypto exchanges. Overall, the balance continues to go lower and lower. It peaked in early 2020 during the corona crash, where BTC dropped by more than 50% in just few days. Since then, it was on a steady decline. In that peak, that was around 17% of all Bitcoin circulation on crypto exchanges. Now it is only 13%. So overall, there is 30% decrease in Bitcoin and crypto exchanges in the past 17 months or so. Bitcoin supply is limited indeed. Just to remind you guys, you can get a fraction of Bitcoin if you cannot afford a whole one. Do not be waiting for Bitcoin to drop to $20,000. It may never happen. Just dollar cost average and you will be just fine. But you also need to have a temperament and long-term vision. You're not going to get rich overnight. It's just not gonna happen. I'm sorry guys. So, what is the million dollar Bitcoin cash out plan? Yes, I get it. Everyone wants to be a millionaire. Right now, you need at least 16 BTC to have 1 million dollars of purchasing power. If you do not have 16 Bitcoin, which means you're probably not a millionaire. But of course, there could be a good chance for you to become a millionaire in the future. Only thing you need, as I explained earlier, is to have patience and long-term vision. Besides that, you may also think to become a millionaire, you will have to buy Bitcoin at the bottom and sell it at the top. There is some truth to it. But we know that the hindsight is always 2020. Looking back, we can easily point out where was the top and where was the bottom. But if you're looking forward, it's a totally different ball game. For example, if Bitcoin would be at this price point, you may think that this is the top since the Bitcoin had a massive spike. But if we go forward in time, we realize that this is not the top at all. Bitcoin has more and more upside. When the upside will end, it's not easy to tell. Bitcoin price continues to go up and up and up. Of course, not without fluctuations. It tends to go up until it's not. One simple indicator we can rely on to figure it out if Bitcoin is the top or not is Bitcoin Google search. It's simple and yet effective indicator. If Google search indicator approaches an ideal so, it does not mean that Bitcoin price cannot go any higher. What it means is that Bitcoin is getting very and very popular and grabs lots of interest from the people that would otherwise would not be interested in Bitcoin unless a Bitcoin price goes higher. In 2017 bull market, the Google search hit all-time high of 100 and Bitcoin price hit $20,000, which was the top. Then in April 2020, Bitcoin price hit new all-time high of $64,000, while Bitcoin Google search hit only 80. It wasn't that high, and Bitcoin did correct it by 50% soon after that. Right now, the Bitcoin Google search is at 30. This indicator does not tell us where Bitcoin price is going to be in the future, but it tells us where we are at any given moment. So what does 30 mean? 30 means Bitcoin is not in the bottom nor it's not at the top. In fact, it's very far away from the top. If Google search hits 80 once again, BTC price might be at $100,000. If it hits 100, the price might be at $200,000 or even higher. We do not know at what price Bitcoin will be at the top. But I don't know one thing. When Google search hits 100, you may start being more protective and even possibly take some chips off the table. There is also some historical price movement we can rely on. This is a great chart that represents how many times Bitcoin doubles after each Bitcoin halving. After the first Bitcoin halving, BTC price doubled 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It doubled 5 times during the first bull market. During the second cycle, after the second Bitcoin halving, Bitcoin doubled in price 4 times. Let's take a look what happened after this recent third Bitcoin halving. 
So far, we had only two doublings in price after the third beacon halving. First one took place 190 days after the halving. The second one took 50 days after the first one. The third doubling will take place when the Bitcoin price will be at $74,000. The fourth doubling will take place at $150,000. And the fifth one of course, if it will happen, will take place at $300,000. Personally, I have been holding Bitcoin for almost 5 years and I have not sold anything since. But if Bitcoin reaches $300,000 and Google search hits 100, it will be very tempting to take some chips off the table, and I might sell a small fraction of my portfolio and possibly buy real estate. If Bitcoin hits $300,000, you will need only 3.3 BTC to have $1 million of purchasing power, but not so fast. You will also need to take into the account capital gain tax whenever you sell Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies for that matter. If you hold crypto less than one year and sell it, you'll be accountable to pay short-term capital gain tax. Short-term capital gain tax is usually the same as your income tax. If you pay 40% of annual income tax, you will pay 40% on your short-term capital gain tax. However, if you hold Bitcoin longer than one year, you will fall into the bracket of long-term capital gain tax. If you pay 40% in income tax, you will only pay 20% in your long-term capital gain tax. So also take taxes into the account whenever you plan to sell your Bitcoin. Let me know what do you guys think and what is your Bitcoin Cash Out plan. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below, smash that like button and subscribe for more videos.